Welcome to To Enable Help. This short video is going to show you how to choose subjects. At the moment you've got two options. One is to choose the subjects or select a, a new course you wish to register for and this shows you the results. So in my space there are no results so it's just going to return an empty screen. Um, so I need to enroll in courses and then I need to take some assessments in order for the graphical representation of results to uh, be relevant. What I can do quickly is show you what this looks like in a user who has taken results. So here's Michael who's taken a bunch of assessments, not particularly well. And you can see mathematics has taken a bunch of assessments in different grades. And if I look at grade 8, I can drill into this it'll show me the results for each one of the assessments I've taken. So you can see where the weaknesses are. So I'm not particularly good at these four um, weeks algebraic equations, algebraic equations and uh, geometry I need work on. But up here I don't really need to worry about my work. So that gives you an idea of what is available if you, when you do some assessments and you click that link. So to get there, you need to choose a subject. So we're going to choose a subject, and this might take a second or two. It depends on the speed of your internet. And there's a bunch of subjects. They're not all the subjects, but this is what we have on the platform at the moment. And you select the subject of your choice. So I want mathematics, so I'm selecting for mathematics. And these are different grades, and I'm going to select grade 10. And I'm going to enroll in mathematics grade 10. You are now registered for mathematics grade 10. So if I click OK then, You'll notice it's added a tile. There's Mathematics Grade 10, Caps Aligned Content and Assessments. So I can repeat this process. I can do Physical Science, Grade 10, Enroll. And I can enroll in as many of these subjects as I want. And once I've enrolled in everything that I need to enroll in, I can now access the actual subject and the content. So if I go to Mathematics, I'll click on Mathematics, and you'll notice a few things. I can unenroll from this point, which will remove uh, that tile off of the enrolled list. And here are 37 weeks of uh, Grade 10 content. So there is a algebraic expressions is over three weeks, exponents is over two weeks. And you literally select the week that you wish to uh, study. If I begin week one, and what it does is it opens up a page, and in most page, most weeks there should be an introduction, and the introduction tells you what you need to do. So here the CAPS objectives are. So there's four CAPS objectives, and by the end of the module you should be able to do these four things, and it tells you what you should refer to. Lesson one, two, three, and four. So in each week there's a bunch of resources that are delivered to you. And you can select the week of your the resource and you can watch the resource. This is running online, it's using internet, it's linking you to YouTube. What we can do is we can connect to a, a local hub, in which case these videos in your school will be available on the network and you will not have to go onto the internet to access them. But that will be explained in a later video. A few things around here that you need to understand is expand allows you to expand this video. So if you were projecting on a screen for your students, it's an easy way to expand it to be almost full screen. What I can do is I can start a questionnaire. There's an assessment that is, that is associated with this week. The sponsor info relates to the, to the people who have provided funding to, to aggregate this content and to create the content. And this feedback button relates to, is an instant message for you to provide feedback to a specific user or to the, the content developers. And it relates to this specific item. So if I were to select lesson two and provide feedback on lesson two, I could say this resource is not great or this resource is particularly good. Thank you. And it relates specifically to the item that you are, you have chosen to look at. So that's a mechanism for you to provide feedback about resources. And we look forward to your feedback. If you've got great feedback, that would be wonderful. If you feel some of our resources are not good, please let us know and we will change them. View steps takes you back to the, the, to the table where you choose what you want to watch. And the last thing of, of relevance here is notes. You can start to take online notes and I've already uh, 
demonstrating this earlier. Uh, I can take more notes and I can save my notes and I can also share my notes. Okay, so once I've taken my notes, if I have a friend who wants to get my notes for the week, I can share my notes and it'll load up all my friends who enrolled in the same subject and um, I can then send them a message. So I've deselected those ones, it's going to be sent to Z and um, if you've got a teacher, it'll also give you an option to send uh, your note your note to a teacher or ask for help from your teacher. So I can just send that and that is sharing that note with, with Z. So that is a quick overview uh, of how to choose subjects and a quick overview of what's available in a subject when you choose it and I hope that is going to be of use to you.